The Spiral of Silence Theory, proposed by German political scientist Elisabeth Noel Newman in 1974, delves into the intricate dynamics of public opinion formation and expression rooted in political science and mass communication. This theory posits that an individual's willingness to voice their opinions is influenced by their perception of the prevailing public sentiment. The theory emerged from Noel Newman's insightful analysis during the 1965 German federal election campaign, revealing a surprising shift in voter intentions and the impact of external factors like media coverage and social dynamics. The crux of the spiral of silence theory lies in the fear of isolation, an apprehension that leads individuals to withhold their divergent opinions when they perceive them to be in the minority. This fear is not merely social but extends to potential reprisals or adverse consequences for expressing dissenting views. As individuals gauge the climate of opinion around them, they rely on a quasi-statistical sense to estimate majority and minority views impacting their decision to speak out or remain silent. The theory identifies key components, including the presence of a public interest issue, divisiveness on the issue, a quasi-statistical sense, fear of isolation, belief in the isolation resulting from a minority opinion, and the existence of a hardcore group unaffected by others' opinions. While the spiral of silence theory has been widely acknowledged, it is not without criticism. Some argue that its parameters need updating to reflect the complexities of 21st century society, and others contend that it fails to account for variables beyond social isolation. The theory's relationship with mass society theory, its reliance on the concept of a vocal minority, and its implications for media effects are subjects of ongoing debate. Despite criticisms, the theory has retained its relevance and has been applied to various contexts, including the role of social media. The Internet, often seen as a platform for diverse voices, challenges the theory to some extent, providing spaces where minority opinions might find expression. However, even in digital social networking spaces, the spiral of silence seems to persist, affecting users' participation, vocalization, and opinions. As we navigate through the nuanced layers of the spiral of silence theory, it is essential to recognize its impact on public discourse, political climates, and the role of media in shaping and reflecting opinions. The theory prompts us to question the dynamics of conformity, dissent, and the delicate balance between individual expression and societal influence in our ever-evolving communication landscape. The spiral of silence theory initially proposed by German political scientist Elisabeth Noel Newman in 1974, is a concept in political science and mass communication that posits an individual's inclination to express their opinions is influenced by their perception of the prevailing public opinion. Rooted in the surprising findings of the 1965 German federal election campaign, the theory explores how people's willingness to voice their views on controversial issues is shaped by their unconscious awareness of those opinions being either popular or unpopular. During the 1965 election campaign, Noel Newman conducted surveys tracking political opinions, revealing a consistent deadlock between the Christian Democratic Union Christian Social Union Duxu and the Social Democratic Party of Germany SDP. However, in the final weeks, a sudden shift occurred, with a surge in Gduxu support. This shift was attributed to a visit by Queen Elizabeth II, creating an optimistic mood among Gduxu supporters, leading them to publicly express their views. In contrast, SDP supporters, perceiving their opinions as less popular, refrained from vocalizing their views. The spiral of silence theory, also known as the theory of public opinion, suggests that individuals are more likely to express their opinions confidently when they believe their views align with the majority. Conversely, the fear of isolation or social rejection suppresses the expression of unpopular opinions. The theory's major components include issues of public interest, divisiveness, a quasi-statistical sense to perceive the climate of opinion, fear of isolation, an individual's belief about minority opinions isolating them, and the presence of a hardcore group unaffected by others' opinions. Despite its significance, the theory faces criticism, 
with some arguing that its definition and parameters need updating to reflect 21st century behavior. Critics point out a lack of consideration for variables beyond social isolation. The spiral of silence theory aligns closely with mass society theory sharing a somewhat pessimistic view of social relations. The validity of the theory depends on the existence of alternative reference groups in society. While the theory encompasses various dimensions beyond media effects, evidence supporting its hypotheses remains inconsistent. Some studies suggest little correlation between perceived support for one's opinion and the willingness to speak out. However, Fear of isolation continues to be considered a key factor affecting individuals' willingness to express opinions on controversial issues. The theory's creator, Noel Newman, argued for a return to the concept of powerful mass media, challenging the limited effects perspective. She highlighted the media's role in shaping public opinion by restricting the selection of news and presenting a congruent set of values. According to the theory, media can initiate and reinforce a spiral of silence by declaring certain positions as settled and discouraging opposing viewpoints. In conclusion, the spiral of silence theory explores the dynamics of public opinion expression and the influence of perceived majority views. Its relevance and applicability, however, continue to be debated, with critiques addressing its adaptability to contemporary society and the exclusion of factors beyond social isolation. As we wrap up our exploration of the spiral of silence theory, we find ourselves delving into the intricate interplay between individual expression and societal influence. Originally conceived by Elizabeth Noel Newman in 1974, this theory has significantly contributed to our understanding of why individuals often choose silence over voicing dissenting opinions. The fear of isolation, deeply ingrained in the theory, emerges as a powerful force shaping public discourse. The spiral effect, triggered by the confidence of the perceived majority, illustrates the delicate balance between conformity and dissent. The mass media, a central player in this dynamic, not only reflects but also influences the perceived majority opinion. However, the theory faces scrutiny, especially in the age of the internet and the vocal minority. The online realm, often hailed as a bastion of diverse opinions, challenges the traditional constraints of the spiral of silence. Meanwhile, individuals who persistently express unconventional views, the vocal minority, seem less swayed by the theory's inhibiting effects. Our journey through the spiral of silence theory has uncovered its applications to contemporary contexts, particularly in the realm of social media. The hesitation of users to express opinions online when perceiving disagreement among their connections raises intriguing questions about the spillover of this phenomenon into in-person interactions. In our conclusion, it's crucial to acknowledge the theory's role in shaping our understanding of public opinion dynamics. Nevertheless, the debates surrounding its limitations and applicability to our ever-evolving society underscore the need for continued research. As we navigate the complexities of communication in the 21st century, the spiral of silence theory remains a valuable lens through which we explore the intricate dance between individual expression, societal norms, and the evolving landscape of media influence. Stay curious, and keep the conversation flowing.